What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cool JC and this is Trap News Sports. If you guys like me, you were treated to a, a good fight last night between uh, Curtis Stevens and um, David Lemieux. Uh, the fight got off to, to a great start, man. I, I think all fights should come out swinging at the gate like this. Uh, none of these fighters utilized their jab. They didn't utilize the jab. They were constantly trying to hit home runs. They were trying to throw, they were constantly throwing haymakers. But it's the one thing that got me, man. Um, the whole fight. Curtis Stevens, to me, seems like he has he hasn't grown. I haven't seen growth and develop, development under um, his new trainer, David Jackson. And I didn't see any growth and development in David Lemieux after his after he lost to Triple G. And I say that because, like I said, I'm I am a big proponent of a fighter using his jab to set up everything in front of him. I didn't see nothing that with these two guys. They was just, just trying to take each other's head off. Now, on, on the other hand with David Lemieux, I could understand because, uh, you know, Curtis Stevens has been talking a lot of mess, a lot of junk in the news. Calling a man, he has, he been wearing thongs, he gonna take the thong out of his ass and all this stuff. So uh, to me, I personally think that David Lemieux was trying to prove something. Now that was, that, that being said, that knockout that came in the third round, goodness gracious. I mean, he put he put Curtis Stevens in another world, man. I'm like, damn. I mean, he hit him, I mean, and, and it came, it, it, it was just timed perfectly. And he set up, he set that shot up good. He went one to the body and he came right on up to the top and caught him. I'm like, damn. And I, I like David Lemieux because he's an action fighter. I like him. And he got a lot of pop with him. Um, but I just don't think he could he could contend against the world champion like um Triple G. And therefore I even say Canelo. But I, I think deep down inside, I think he'll beat Canelo. I think he has enough to, to get Canelo out of there. But then again, let me, let me pause for the call. I do think, technically, Canelo is, is, is sound, is better around technically than Lemieux. I think, I think so, so therefore I'm gonna take that, that back. I think Canelo stops him or he knocks him out from a, a volume of punches. Um, so look at, let's look at another contender. Billy Joe Saunders, who's been talking a lot of mad shit, but he hasn't fought nobody yet. And his last fight, if his last fight was any in, in, in indication of where he's at in his career now, he might get put to sleep. So I, I don't think his I don't I don't think Billy Joe Saunders people are gonna put him in the ring with David Lemieux. He, one, he's too dangerous. Lemieux is, and I think he's has he you know, the boy got a lot of pop, man. The boy has a lot of pop. I have to get. I have to take my hat off to that. He got a lot of pop. Uh, let's look at another contender. Uh, let's look at um, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. You know, another guy that's been talking a lot of mad shit, but he hasn't fought nobody yet. You call, like I said, the thing about him, he'll call all these people out, but they will not step to the ropes, step between those ropes, and, and, and get into the square circle and fight. It's one thing you see him call these people out, but it's another thing when you, when you make the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, so he's another one that I'm um I I, I can see the mute fight or having a fight with going to um uh, London or UK to fight him. Um but overall man, it was a good fight. I, I truly believe that Curtis Stevens need to sit down and, and and think about what he wanna do next. Cause he cannot contend in 160. He just don't have the body size. He just he's a short short arm guy and this is the same guy i find that once he played one time he fought um the derail brother uh, i want to say was it andre yeah he fought andre derail um so he was at 168 i, I want to say i seen him in the fight at 175 light heavyweight so but i know he fought at 168 he fought um the derail brother um but what what do where does credit steven go from here does he drop down to uh What's that? I mean, middle way, uh, does he drop down to welterweight? I mean, does he does he does he venture off into one of those 
that that 155 range. I mean, I don't know, man, but to me, both fighters, it was a good fight. It was a good fight while it lasted, but to me, both fighters have not improved technically. Like I say, no jab. It was just basically power shots. So, you know, it was a good fight, man. I'm not going, going to knock on it too much, but it was a good fight while it lasted. Um, HBO, I take my hat off to you guys. You guys, uh, you still behind Showtime in, in these fights, but overall, it was a good fight. I uh, hope to see more come. Um, I hope to see more on HBO in the upcoming months, man. But so far, a good start. But anyway, that's my time. Cool, JC. Peace.